Guys, sorry about that little glitch there when I was trying to turn the lights off, the video stopped recording. Um, I'm going to put these back on. So this is part two, just continuing where we left off from the last video. Um, and just pause the game now and we're going to just talk about the last few bits, just for you yeah. to, to give you another last idea of what's been built here. Um, but anyway, again, let me spin you back around to where we were. Go. Right. So you might be wondering about the hood, obviously. So I wanted to sort of block off, because the, the main thing you want to do is you want to, you want to sort of remove anything from your peripheral view. I mean, I've, I've got this as close as I can <laughs> to this screen. I mean, this steering wheel should really be, you know, almost there, but you see where this display, that should be down here, really. You know, that's that's where you probably should be, but obviously then you're gonna need sort of bigger screens for that. I mean, you've probably seen videos, you know, from the guys on their uh, Race Beyond Matter and Boosted Media, and they've got their, their screens, and it just looks like it's you're in the car. It's absolutely insane. Um, but again, because obviously I've got this sort of um, uh, sort of light rig, I, this is about as close as I could get the screens to it here. But so I wanted to sort of block off the peripheral. I mean, it's done a pretty good job because I don't, don't want to really see the rest of the flat. You want it to be so like you're in the cockpit. So we decided to put this hood on here. Um, and we were just going to put just 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 a flat bit of foam or something just to sort of block it off or sheets or anything you want. But we ended up actually making this, um, which was again pretty cheap. Hobbycraft, um, wasn't it? Hobbycraft, some black foam board. Just foam board, yeah. And then we literally just measured it up, cut it to measure, and it actually looks really cool. It actually looks like a bonnet of a Lamborghini or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It, it, that was not actually intentional. It wasn't no. like, oh, we're going to make that now. It just turned out like that, Yeah. which is cool. But then I was able to obviously mount this on here um, because I've seen some people who have actually made this, this roll cage, and they've actually just got it sitting on top of the monitors because they haven't got anything at the top, which is fine. So I had to obviously... Cable tight to the top, it's handy having that for that. And yeah, obviously you can actually get through it so easily. Yeah. It's not it's a still, solid piece of, no, you don't have to drill through it. No, no. It's foam so you can punch a yeah, hole and you, we could, yeah. you it was able to hang all of these yeah. and, roll cage. And the other good thing about it is, is that it's light so it doesn't weigh anything on top of the monitors. And if something does go wrong with it, you can just change it. Um, one thing to uh, remember that if you are going to build something like this, um, when you build it, obviously you're going to make some sort of template out of it to get your angles right and keep the templates because the bits that we've actually cut out from the main foam block, the bit that, you know, the angles that we got to cut that out, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna keep that off cut because that's actually the angle. So if anything goes wrong, I can take it off and recut it. Yeah, you know? yeah. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just worth keeping the of. template, yeah. Just something to think of. Um, yeah, well, I think that's, that's pretty much. Well, just most, a quick one here as well. This is another clever thing, Ed, isn't it? So yeah. when Ed's racing, we should have showed you before, but it's it's obviously here anyway. I mean, he can carry on for a second, Ed. Do you mind oh, just right, yeah, yeah. doing half a lap oh, here? And I'm thing. just going to talk that's about yeah. Thing. So I what forgot. we've got, yeah. what we've got here, which is quite a, a really neat thing because you can move you this around. Yeah, just to carry on. Turn oh. it down just a touch. Uh, hold on, hold on. Let me turn it down. Uh, let me just well, punch this on. That's the other good thing about this surround sound system, by the way. If anybody does get this one, the um, Z906. Obviously, you've got remote for it. Um, this sub, obviously everything plugs into the sub, but then you have a little amp down here or a little sort of controller. So it's actually quite handy to have that somewhere. And I think yeah, and I here's, think, here's the I think controller. It looks really cool as well. Look. It looks really cool. And see, it shows you all your speakers and it shows you your sub, your front, your back speakers, and then you can adjust them all yeah. to however you want. So I think I think that was definitely a good investment. Yeah, because you get all the cars coming from the back left, back right. Oh, here, front, you get the front, and then, and then you've the got the bottom football. at the bottom. Yeah, and, and the bass shakers down the bottom there as well. And what's nice is you get you get the bass from the car, obviously as it's driving, but then with the bass shakers, then you get the a feeling of the engine. So the whole thing is. Yeah. Brrr, I, mean, I literally don't know how long this this will last because <laughs> you can see the movement. Look at yeah, the play. Yeah, yeah. Look, look at the play. It's. It's so, I mean, not you're, ideal. You're, no, your it's next thing is thinking about... The rig, no, the rig is the next yeah. thing. The actual rig itself, if you yeah. know what I mean. Yeah. The, the framework. I'm going to get a really good framework for it. I'm going to pull this all apart and rebuild it all. And it will be mental. Because, yeah. I mean, it's good already. So you can imagine what version 2 is going to be like. Yeah. <laughs> if this is what version 1 turned out like. Okay, anyway. I'm going right. to shut up now. Okay. Right. <laughs> right, so here we go. So obviously that's all connected to... So as we were talking about Sim Hub earlier, um, you can get any tab, really. I'm just going to refresh this because it looks like it's probably stopped. The bottom bugs out sometimes, doesn't it? Right, but it's not. Okay, it's reloading. Right, okay, so let's go to full screen. So what we've got here, this is just through SimHub again, and we're just running a S5e tab. And this will give us, as you can see, the best lap times, where you're positioned on the track here. So that's all linked through the Wi-Fi, actually, um, through SimHub, and it connects to the game. So this is a really good touch and it can be done quite cheaply. 
Um, you can set stuff up, make it yourself. We can also um, go back and we've got different things set up. So we've got this leaderboard here that you can see if we go to full screen. So there you go, it tells us we're number in, well, it's up and down here because he's probably gone over the finish line just now, which he did. Uh, but that does calm down in a minute, but it does show you where you are, position, track temperature, the air temperature up here, your best time, all time lap, session best for this one, last lap. It's just clever and nice for someone else as a, as a either, a, you can put it on the dashboard if you want to make a dashboard, because we've actually got a dashboard here, look, that shows us uh, da, 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 full screen. So it's basically showing us exactly what Ed's seeing on his screen here, uh, what gears and everything like that. So that's very clever, especially if you want to do, you could do inside view, I mean, you could do bonnet view here, is my point, and you could use this as your um, uh, dashboard, if you like. Yeah. So it's clever, it's very clever. And again, if you're a co-pilot or co-pilot, you can keep Ed up to speed on what position he's in, and where he is on the leaderboard, how far the cars are in front or behind. So it's, it's very clever. I mean, we normally have it on this co-dash is what we've called it. And it just tells you, I mean, this car in front actually is the gap to first position, not to the car in front. But remaining fuel, remaining laps, and you can edit this in SimHub, isn't it, Ed? Yes. And you can literally then put on exactly what you, want. you want. You can have tire wear on this Whatever as well, and you can adjust it all. I mean, it's fantastic, really. We actually had two running at one point. So we had two different screens here. So, you know, I'm just sat here behind, behind the whole rig here, and I've got this screen which I can just inform Ed as and when, you know, his new like pit crew, isn't it? It's basically pit crew and pit also crew. bring him and tell him when he needs to pit, etc. So, I mean, it's it's really, really good stuff. And like I said, if you want to build a slim rig, pull the immersion to the game and just give it so much more dynamics and it, it's brilliant. Yeah, and the Sim Hub is a free app as well. So it's a free download, is it an app or is it just a... It's just, well, it's, it's a free download. Yeah. And obviously any Android device, or I think Apple as well, um, download their app and run it or you can connect to it online yeah so you can even download the app like Ed said or if you have trouble with that because sometimes there is a bit of problems you can use an IP address can't you and link yeah. onto the same IP address as SimHub yeah. and it will link it that way all so through the Wi-Fi if you've got an old phone knocking around or an old thing you can actually turn it into a SimHub dashboard or a leaderboard or whatever you want yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's cool. literally as simple as Ed said, an old phone in a drawer that you don't use anymore yeah. or you're just about to go and get your upgrade. Oh. Keep that and you can make a dashboard out of it. So it's, it's brilliant stuff, really. Very cool. Yeah, I've got to sort this rig out. Yeah, so there you go, guys. Basically, a little talk about Ed's rig here. Um, yeah. If you want to rig for under 5,000, I mean, like I said, you can make it even cheaper if you want to leave certain aspects out. Yeah. But we do, since we own, and the cloth we've got at the bottom here, Ed. Oh, yeah. And that was from Hobbycraft. So just to black out the bottom of a car, so rather than seeing all the cables and the PC, you can see below Ed's steering wheel there, all you can see is his feet. You can't see what's underneath the screens. And at the back, we just cut out. So you can see his little tootsies down here, look. <laughs> There you go, look, he's got his slippers on. I mean, that's not a bad sign, racing in your slippers. Yeah, I love it, mate. But yeah, and we've just cut the hole in here, and there's his little legs there, look. There you go. And that's it, guys, really. That's Also, just um, cable management wasn't a priority when I did this, because <laughs> you probably noticed the like, spaghetti junction down there. Um, when I do that again, I will definitely, definitely tidy it up and make it look a lot nicer. It was just because I was buying bits and adding to it every week, and every month it was like a new thing, a new thing, and it was kind of like, oh look, I just want to plug it up and get it, see what it looks like, and then I'll tidy it up. So I haven't actually got round to doing that cable management, because I know that will probably drive some people cuckoo. Yeah. <laughs> but because you can't see it, you sort of don't think about it, but next time, when I get my, oh, when I get my aluminium rig, uh, my next level one I'm going to go for, I think, I've got my own one, um, I'll do all the power, all the cables, make everything look really nice and tidy. You know, because like I said, it wasn't a concern when I was doing it at the beginning. Because I didn't actually think it would go this far. You no, know? Yeah. I thought I'd just have three screens and a steering wheel and go. I mean, it, even the three screens wasn't really on your no, radar. No. You bought one G5, didn't you? And then the 34 inch. The 34. So yeah, you had a 34, didn't you? You were running it off one one screen. One screen. And then you sold on that a, on a desktop. Yeah. And then I ended up selling that and getting three 27s because I thought oh, it's got to be better. And I mean, it, it is much much better. But then I thought, well, that's it then. And then the hood went on, and then the roll cage, and then the netting, and then the flag spotters, and then the surround sound, and it's all just turning into a bit of a monster. Yeah. Which is cool. But now I've got most of the components, 
what I'll do now is get a really good strong aluminium rig and then you know then we'll really go to town on it and make it really really good I know some people probably think this is very good but it, nah, it can be much better yeah and it will be it will be I'll get these monitors lined up properly I think you don't really notice that when you're driving you know the monitors this one kicks out that one kicks up a little you bit you can kind of see it over here you can yeah. see it, it kicks up quite a bit that, that that's bad that one. and that's simply just because it's the, the rig it's and the stand. So these stands, I mean, you bought these on Amazon, didn't you, Ed? Yeah, the three stands. But you but can I... see what we mean because on the two sides, you can almost get away with it, but you can't put that in the middle because your feet won't get to the pedals. Yeah, I didn't. I bought three of them. Yeah. Didn't I? The yeah. one that's holding the Philips Hue in the middle was the third for the third monitor. Yeah. And I was like, where are my feet going to go? Yeah. I was like, you wally. So and then all of a sudden, things... you've got a big bar in the middle. It yeah. didn't work, did it? Yeah. And, and also, that's why this is sort of kicked yeah. out. And also, under here, you probably can't see, but look, the actual, I don't know if you can see it, you can't see it from there, can you? There's the the, the bars, yeah, you can't, that's the Fanatec motor, yeah, these are awesome. That's the direct drive motor. That's the direct drive motor, but I don't know if you can, ugh. You see, really obviously see you it, can't man. really see it there now, but basically the, You can't see this, it from this side, can you? This is on the double no. bracket that comes down, and they, and they come right down, can you see it from the back? Can you see these? Things. Kind of. Yeah, they're almost on top of that motor. Yeah. That's why I can't have the motor any, any further up. Yeah. So all of this stuff happens as I'm building it. So yeah. it wasn't like I bought myself a nice aluminium rig and I've got the nice Fanatec side bolts on and oh yeah, and everything just fits perfectly. It was like, oh, I'll buy that, I'll put that there. Oh, that doesn't fit, that doesn't go. How does that? And then I've had to try and work around it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. That, that's why it's ended up being a little bit like that. Um, and yeah, but obviously, like I said, the next rig, you know, the next, the next iteration of mm. the rig will be absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. Know? Yeah. Because like I said, I've got all the components. You see, this is all gaffer taped. I mean, I'll change all that. That will be actually, I mean, that's just literally, look, it's like, you know, like when you have a rucksack or, yeah. or a backpack. Yeah, it's clever, isn't it? It's, yeah. Yeah. It's just what I did. I just bought these. Yeah. B and Q, just bought them so in they, a pack. They sold those in a pack in B and Q. Yeah. And then just literally just um, uh, stapled it, uh, looped it over, stapled it, it stapled and then gone. And yep. stapled that out. Yeah, and then literally hooked that on with them, but then I've had to put these on there because they tend mm. to want to pull themselves off. Yeah. Um, but the tape, that won't last. You know, we'll do we'll do a couple of hot lapping and sessions. And the thing is as well, when you yeah, go through a heat last. cycle, <clears throat> yeah. when you do a hot lap oh, heat cycle, you know, four or five hours. It gets too hot. Then things here. get hot, things start to creak and move. Yeah. So Because this this monitor here was, was, it used to be, it used to be perfect. It used to sit like that, like lovely. Yeah. And it slowly, you can see it just slowly moves its way, its way back. Away, yeah. yeah, because it's, yeah. Like I said, I thought that I could just put the monitors up and then just gaffer tape the back of them. Yeah. Oh, obviously not. No. But I didn't know that at the time. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But you can get these rigs now. Obviously, the, the one I've got my on is a, a, a next level rig, and then it's got the triple monitor stand that comes out from it. So they're just going to sit lovely. I mean, I bet you still have, you know, I bet there's still a bit of messing around to get it exactly yeah. right. Yeah. But it will be much nicer and neater. These then can go on a proper clip. I mean, these, these flags. Where did you get those again? They, they, I can't well, see these. them in here. Yeah. I can't you need really a light. see them on the light. Yeah. So, yeah. You need just a... put that curtain there. You might be able yeah. to see them. You've got a light there. Well, a bit of zippo. Yeah, there you go. There see these? you go. See, you the old and there's one the other side, as and well. there's there's one this side trying to set fire to the rig. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> the, the next yeah. video will be like, and the rig burned down. Yeah. Start again. <laughs> yeah. Start from scratch, guys. It's, it's now zero. Yeah, zero. now we're in minus five thousand pounds. Minus five grand. Yeah, but at least we still got the camera. No, yeah. Um, but yeah, they were eBay, were they? Ed? So these were eBay, um, Reaperware. Uh, I, I, I highly recommend. The guy was fantastic as well because obviously, again, I bought these, didn't know how to set them up. Went on to like a tutorial video, thought I had to download stuff to them and do stuff. Ended up cocking up the programming that was on there. Can't remember what they call it now. It was, uh, it was called something, uh, a special file that goes on there. Contacted the guy, he talked me through it. He sent me all this, this stuff to get them all working. They all worked again, lovely, you know. So uh, Reaperware, that's on eBay. Um, but they run through SimHub, is that right? That, that runs through SimHub. So yeah. again, SimHub, if you're playing as a yeah. horse, guys, and you want to build a sim, yeah. just make sure you get SimHub because yeah, look, there's so you, much you can do with it. Can see it look, He's just going to pull it up now, actually, yeah, which no, makes sense. See, you, you can, can see what it is and yeah. what sort of it does. Yeah. Now, look so, at that. See how the lights change there, guys? Yeah, look. <laughs> look at that. So this, again, like I said, he's pulling it from the left hand yeah. for the left one. You can see the colour looks the same as the left screen. <laughs> the right one's obviously pulling it's the pulling same sort that. of colour from well, there. It's dusk, and then it? this is more the white pulling from the main, main, main white bit. on that screen. Yeah. Yeah. But you need yeah. to set that up yeah. within the do, Hue app, innit? Yeah, that what, what we'll do, we'll do your video of a night race. Because that really comes alive when you've got all the lights off in the flat and it's dark. 
and you yeah. do a nighttime race, you're going down the like the pit lane or down the home straight, and you get the lights just washing over you as you're driving. Yeah, you should see that. And then as you're pulling certain corners, you'll have a massive floodlight there, and you'll feel the light coming yeah. across you. So we'll have to do that. We'll do a we'll do a night we'll do a night race. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to see that because that's that's very very cool. Mm. Really well, then you really see what they're capable oh, of. Really, really cool. So you see them all change there, even just from that. Look, that's a brilliant addition. Look, it's pulling all those colours. Yeah, so that's the green from that yeah. monitor, the blue from that side, and then obviously the pinky. Yeah, the, the pinky one from the graphics there on the front. So this, this is basically SimHub. So it's this very, is SimHub. It's very, very simple. Uh, look, Let me just put it in the zoom. Yeah. So this is SimHub, and this is the games it allows you to integrate oh, whatever these bits and bobs yeah. that you want to add. Yeah. There's quite a lot of the games on there, really, that you're going to use them for. But yeah. you've got what else is on there, Ed? You've got what are the racing ones? Uh, you've got so, iRacing as well, oh, if you want to play iRacing. You've got the Formula 1s, the 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. The MNG Drive, you've that's got the grids. One. Yeah, you've got Project Cars. Oh, God, there's millions of them. So all of the best. Sort of the, Formula 1. All the yeah, Formula all the Formula 1s, yeah. And then you've got the iRacing, Project Cars, if you like Project WRC Cars. WRC 10's on there. WRC 9, WRC 10. I haven't tried that yet. Um, what was the other one? The other quite a big racing... NG, what was that one? NG Racing is that on there? Uh, Beam NG. Oh, Beam NG's on there as well because yeah. I know you got a lot of a lot of people like that one as well. Mm. Yeah, it's very. And then very you've got of course, so obviously you can see competition yeah. on it and the standard version as well. Forza. Yeah. yeah. So oh, you must be able to do some integration there. with Forza oh, as well. Loads of stuff. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, so I'm... that's Sim Hub, guys. And is there? Where would you get the app? This isn't the app, is it? No, this is actually. So you go um, uh, onto their website. I think it was just Sim Hub download. And then you go there. I mean, we should really put 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 the link in this. But um, yeah, you just click it, download it, and then it just literally opens like that, and it, it's it's already there. And well, we try and put some of these links in. I mean, the oh, the shit. video might be uploaded first without any links, but um, yeah. bear with us. And at some point, we may just run through it and put some just of the links to maybe some of these the items if people want it. Yeah. Um, and then we can just talk you through it if if you need to. If if anyone wants. And this is it. all yeah. sort of. So there was the car settings. So how do you just show the lights there? Uh, these... So if you go to the. I always say this wrong, Ardrunio. Ard <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah, but look, look at look at it. Ard, yeah. I, I, I kept calling them Adrenos, but they're not Adrenos. No. Or well, they might be called Adrenos, I don't know. Anyway, so, um, yeah, so basically these are just connected via USB to the PC. The PC then um, uh, has them running on whichever COM port that, that, that they run on. Um, and then what did I do? All I had to do was go, I think it was Profile Manager, it already had the profile, the full profile loaded into it. So that was that was fine. Um, and then at the moment, uh, let's have a look. So you can open the test editor. Oh, and it goes all the way over here, obviously, every time. It annoys me. Right, so that's there. And then in here, you can, um, you can sort of, there you go. Yeah, and see they're running now. So you can see them running yellow flag, blue flag. They're very cool. Mm. Green flag. And like I said, having the actual physical items within the cockpit makes well, it just makes it feel real. Massive difference. They're not graphics; they're it's actual units. It's real. They're, they're hardware. Yeah. They're not software. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And then the spotters, obviously, which you saw. And there's the spotter right. car right, car left. Car left. Now, can you change that to just have the left one? Well, I don't know. That don't was know, something yeah. I wanted to do. I wanted to have if a car's on the left, you just, just have that the one. left one. Yeah. But at the moment, they're linked together. Yeah. As in, they see it's just one. Yeah. But the the, the data is going to both to of them. To both of them. And I'm sure there is a way. It's just I got these recently. So I haven't had time to have a play so, with them. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just sort of trying to figure it out myself. I mean, you probably get people who go, oh, I don't have to do that. Just do that. Blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Um, so that's them. That that was very um, easy to set up. Was, so Sim Hub, yeah. Super yep. easy. And then you've got the base shakers. Which it's is down here. And this is where I've got the engine and the gear shift. I mean, you might, if you test it, you might hear it. It'll go. I don't know if you'll get that on the video. Yeah, you might be able to hear that. And it basically just vibrates the seat, but you've also got that set up for gears. So at the moment, it's engine vibration, parametric sound, simulates engine vibration, gear shift, so you get mm. the pulse effect, and, and then road. The road rumble. So you've got road rumble, so all of the uh, red and white road strips, yeah. that'll pick it up and, and feed it into the, to the seat. Yeah. You've also got it on the gear shift, so when you're changing the gear, you can see it all here, look. Yeah, so you're just testing. And then you've also got the engine vibration, so that's, that's really yeah. cool. Yeah, it's really good. So you get the road texture, you get the curves, the grass. Were, yeah, they were eBay, were they, Ed? These speakers, these base um, shakers? Where did you get these base shakers from? No, Amazon. Oh, no, so Amazon, an Amazon job. Dayton, Am yeah, they're called Dayton. They're pucks. They're like base shaker pucks. Well, they call them something else. I can't remember the name of it now, the, the actual proper name for them. Um, 
So yeah. what would you search on Amazon? Bass shakers. Bass shakers. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's how I got it. Again, I'd, I'd have to have a look. Yeah. I'd have to have a look to see which one. So we might like. at some point put all the links to some of these equipments below if that's what you yeah. guys want. I mean, you could put. I'm mean, like I said, I bought the the the, the Logitech came from Amazon. Like I said, they were eBay. This was from Fanatex. Fanatec themselves. And that's a direct drive, guys, again, just so you know. Direct drive, yeah, yeah, yeah. The three monitors were from Amazon. Amazon. Yeah. That was Amazon. This, you know, the pipes from Wix. PC from was... Curry's. Uh, was yeah, yeah, yeah. That's PC's. PC Specialist, guys, just so you know. Yeah, that, that's a ready-made one, so I didn't actually build that myself. Um, maybe in the future I might build my own PC because I'm starting to know a bit more about this sort of stuff. Yeah. Um, but no, I just bought that one and just sort of went for a bit of a powerhouse, like I said, because I want Corsa to run it. You know, it, it, you know, it... The monitors, the actual outputs of these triple monitors, that's another thing we didn't talk you look about. At, sorry, Ed, you look a bit like Shrek in there with that yeah. sort of green. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it has been said. <laughs> <laughs> it has been said that that's definitely... Oh, so, um, what was I going to say? The, uh, uh, oh, I'm lost my train of thought now. What was I going to say? I was going to say... Oh, I can't remember now. Oh, yes, the triple monitors. There we yeah. go. So the triple monitors are set up through... Uh, NVIDIA surround. So this is the NVIDIA chip, isn't it, in here, not... Um, yeah. Who's the other guy? Who's the other cloud? Uh, yeah. Who's the other lot? NVIDIA and who's Razor. the other one? No, not Razor. Uh, AMD. AMD, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, NVIDIA uh, RTX 3080. Yeah. Um, and basically what I've got is just got the three monitors set up as a surround uh, uh, span display. Uh, but it was quite easy to do. Um, at first it might so hold on give it a second oh, right. so basically you identify your monitors two three and one you can actually position them so you can have monitor three here or two or one or I, I mean I, I let the PC tell me which ones are which and then sort of align them up you select them here on the left hand side um, you select the monitors in order so when they when, when they first start, they're unticked, and then you select monitor two, then monitor three, then monitor one. So how it displays in front of you. If you've got monitor three there, two, one, you select three, two, then one, or one, two, and three. However yeah. you want to do it, but that's just how mine is set up. And then you've got the bezel correction here, which look, you'll see, if I start to move it, you get a graphic here. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, which basically lines up, and as you split it up, it, 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 it aligns the sort of diagonal. Mm -hmm. um, so in the game, because when it starts, it's sort of offset, and it, 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 it puts the bezel correction in there to give it give you the sense like you're looking out through a window yeah yeah um and mine was set to so and that's sorry that's cancel. the how did you get to this this point again this was through the nvidia settings is that so right? this is through the nvidia control panel so nvidia control panel so if you've got a nvidia chip you should have the nvidia control panel is yeah. that right yeah and, and then you, you can go in and select all of this information here and, and you and go configure. you go here and you just go configure surround physics yeah and you select that and that comes up with this and then you just do configure display uh like so this you know you're, yeah. you're going to find loads of videos of this on youtube yeah proper go, dedicated go videos into yeah, proper yeah, yeah. detail yeah. we're just giving you we're just giving you a quick insight. idea so, so, yeah. i wonder how they did that I wonder yeah. What they yeah. Did this. yeah it's just a quick run through you know if anybody actually wants a proper one we can do it yeah you know i can actually start from scratch with them all and off actually do and a say, video on this how is how it works yeah if you want that yeah um and then it sets the resolution to seven eight hundred by fourteen forty. I'm not sure if you can see that, guys, but if you can, uh, yeah, seven eight hundred by forty forty. Yeah. Yeah. So that's obviously your seven eight hundred going across with the three, and then obviously your fourteen forty is your height. Um, and then once once you configure the displays, once you do the bezel correction, you go into the resolution, the drop down here, and you select bezel corrected version. They tell you the recommended is seven six eight zero by fourteen forty recommended. Um. But you actually want the bezel corrected version, okay? Because you want it to correct correct for the bezel. Otherwise, you'll be in the game and you'll notice that the car wheel will sort of disappear and come out, and it won't look right. Whereas when you when you've got the bezel, it will look like it's just going behind the black line, yeah. rather than it moving and changing. Yeah, I get what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It turns it into like a window. Yeah, type of thing. But like I said, that that's just a a little sort of rundown on that. If you want any more sort of detail on that then. yeah then we can do a proper video on just how to set up the monitors or yeah. a video on sim hub or yeah even setting up the surround sound system yeah or in more detail about setting up the roof for instance or the, the lights, playlights the, the hue lights, lights. yeah because we, um, we know what we're doing with this that is now. just a little taste i mean the video the, the, the channel is quite new yeah. so we're open well, to I, suggestions I, I, as well I love the surround lighting so much i've actually set it up in my lounge for my my my, my gaming yeah my so fps gaming not only has ed uh, got his rig which you well. can see what is this ed a 65 
Yeah, so points. behind there as well, you know, we can do talks on this, how to set that up. He's got the play bar, yeah. play light, which is that the gradient one as well? So that, that's the one that's actually made for the TV, yeah. Yeah, so that's on the back. And then he's also got one up here, look, running. That, that's it. So we can also, if people want that, he can set up, oh. we can set a video up explaining how to set this up. Yeah. But with that, Ed, don't you use the sync box? With this, you have to. So yes, there is basically. a sync box. You probably can't see it because of the light here. There's a sync box here, yeah. and he's got his Google. See the Google um, Chromecast. Chromecast. Google goes into that. Yeah. And it links everything. Because well. I was so impressed with the surround lighting on the rig, and that was before I even got the play bars on the side. Just with this on its own, I thought I'd love to have it when I'm playing like Doom or whatever on the on the big screen because yeah. I, like, I like I like sort of F, FPS games as well. Yeah. Um. So I, I basically set that light, which is basically the same as that one. It's the it's outdoor, an outdoor, outdoor two meter strip again with the diffuse light. And was that Amazon Ed again? That was Amazon. No, no, I actually think I got that. I got that from Curry's. But they're probably on Amazon oh, as well. Of course, yeah. So Curry's or Amazon, yeah. guys, you yeah. can pick these up. And what's that? The two meter. So that's the two meter one. Two meter that one. So that gives you. So I've set that to the TV to do all the light that comes from a, on the, the top of the screen. So if you're watching a film, or yeah. you're playing yeah. a game. Um, then I ended up getting the one for the yeah the gradient light strip for the 65 inch to put behind the TV, which actually does the top. And the sides, but then I bought another two meter strip to and do the speakers here, to, guys, the, well. to do the bottom, yeah, <laughs> full of gear in this gap, yeah. Um, and then I actually bought another two meter one and actually cable tied it to the bottom of the TV because the gradient light strip only does the top of the sides, but not the bottom. Yeah. So I've got that doing overhead on the couch, that doing top sides, and then the bottom. So when you're playing a game like Doom, which is, you know, all the neon lights and everything, you get all the colours coming out of the TV and going around the room because it all goes up to the side. I mean, we've got some good examples of that. Again, we could do like a video and just show you it working. I mean, yeah. it's amazing. Um, but yeah, like you were saying, I had to get the um, uh, 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 the HDMI, the play box. The U so what's it called? Actual um, oh, Philips U play... Uh, Synchronised box, isn't it? Sync, sync box. box, sorry. Yeah, sync yeah, box. So, so it's the Philips sync box. Right? Yeah. And then that comes with an app as well, doesn't it? Yeah, because you can't run, they won't allow you to run um, an Android TV or even a smart TV, which has got Netflix or anything. They won't let you run the light bar to pick up the light from the app built into the TV. You have to have the HDMI sync box, and I had to get Chromecast on it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. because then that connects to the TV. It, it, it basically sends the information for Netflix or any films that you're watching, it sends it to the light bar and to that light bar. Right. Yeah. If you try and run it through the TV in just the app itself, it won't let you. They basically made you make make you have to buy the sync box. The sync box. But that again, box. that's another that, another video for you guys. If you want, if you want a yeah. tutorial on how to set that up to integrate, you, to work with Netflix, you say. And yeah, because anything that's on Chromecast will do it. Then. Right. So if you're running the Chromecast that's plugged anything. into a sync box, Disney, what he's saying. Yeah, you can run all these lights Disney, basically, and they are basically. amazing because that gives you a great immersion. But again, we can do a video on that if you yeah. guys fancy that. Then yeah. it's not a problem at all, is yeah. it? No, we can no, run no. through it's, that. You, you can do. Um, I have obviously Amazon Prime, Netflix, and Disney, um, and anything that you watch, um, especially if you're watching something like what was I watching the other day? Guardians of Galaxy Volume Two. That, that that intro sequence when you have the monster and all the neon lights and the purple and the greens and everything, it looks like as the purple was coming out, it was going up the wall and up the side and all the couch is getting lit up yeah. in, and the whole room just turns. Well, maybe we will do a video of that, cool. just to show, very, yeah, not the setup, cool. but we can no. show you a video at some point, yeah. just yeah. showing you how it works and how, yeah. how good it looks with oh, these. Yeah, 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 yeah um, definitely. But oh. they're about, how much are these each? Yeah, just a quick one before we, we leave this uh, oh, video. Oh, well, how much are they? They're not that cheap, are they? No, they're, yeah. they're a little bit there. What would they play? Like, oh, God, I'd have to play. But you might be able to find deals on these guys, so just just have a look. Yeah. What did I pay for them? They were about 110. The outdoor strip was a little bit dearer. The actual gradient light strip was about 160. Bits, and that's like the that. same as the one on the rig, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's that basically. So yeah. going back to the rig, this it's the same. Yeah, but he's just that, linked that round that basically. First. Yeah, that was the first one you had, wasn't it? <laughs> and it was so good. But like I said, guys, we we'll do a we we'll do a night video, a night race. Yeah. We'll put a night race on for you because that'll be good. And it's just well, look, easy for you to see yeah, how they work. You see oh, where, where you've got the app. So it's just the Philips, Philips Hue. Hue. You can get see on the, the Play Store or the, the iPhone. The Sim Rig is set up at the moment, and then yeah. I've got Lounge Gaming. So look, if I turn that off now, it will shut the lights off. Oh, okay. If I turn it on, it turns them back on. Oh, so and that's your and that's, that's your TV. The app. So the what I do one. is I turn that off, and then I turn the TV. Oh, there you go, guys. Look. So there you go. That's through the app. So he's managed to put that on. You see. Yeah. And all the back here. And it all lights up everywhere. Yeah. And that's all <laughs> down the back. And if you turn the lights off, obviously. Yeah. Uh... So you do that, and it goes off. Okay. Brilliant. There you go. 
Right, okay guys, let me just spin you around this one more time, just to show you it again. That's the rig again, any more questions, anything you want to ask us, feel free, we can do more videos. Yeah. We're happy to do it all. Yeah. Um, like I said, we're new to the channel, um, and this is Ed's rig. Yeah. And we're gonna have a couple more goes on this now, yeah. and just see what it's capable so we'll of. Just, yeah, we'll just, uh, basically, uh, yeah, just flying on and doing it. I mean, you, like I said, you pro pro probably get a lot of people say, oh yeah, but you can do this, and I've done it like that, da, 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 da. but this has all just been sort of trial and error, yeah. basically. But, a great fun. Great oh fun. yeah, it's the the best part in the world is getting it all set up and then turning it on and going, well that works. Isn't that very cool? <laughs> yeah. And now you've got That's to the point amazing. now. Yeah. That within what a like two three minutes. Yeah. You're in racing. Oh no no no. From yeah from shutdown. Yeah. I can just boot it up, get sim hub going, get the lights going, get the game going, and within three or four minutes you'll be on the track. No I mean brilliant. Yeah. So anytime you want a quick race. Yeah. In you go. Yeah. So again, thanks guys for watching. This is the end of part two. Sorry for that little hiccup halfway through the video. <laughs> But we are, again, like I said, we are new to this, so yeah. um, just bear with us a little bit. But any questions, anything you want us to review out of what we talk, spoke about with the audio equipment, gaming, technology, mm. basically anything yeah. to do with technology, yeah, and yeah. audio equipment, whatever. Um, so thanks again, guys, for watching. We mm. will do that video and upload that of a night race. No, night race is very cool. Because you're going really to cool. yeah, you're gonna be able to see exactly how these lights work. Yeah. And also, it'll be dark in the cockpit, so yeah. you'll get that full immersion with the lighting. Yeah. So again, thanks, guys, and catch you all soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.